All right, last workout of the day, number three. Remember, it's a total of a 40 minute cap on all this. Uh, if you're at home though, like there's no next class. So if you wanna keep going, great. But the idea is to get this done in under 40 minutes, right? Um, that may not be possible though with some of the options you guys have. Um, so if you feel like going a little longer, that's okay. So this one starts off 400 meter run, and then it's 50 hand release push ups, 40 dumbbell deadlifts, 30 swings, 25 dumbbell hang squat cleans, 10 dumbbell push press. All right, so let's break it down 400 meters. Either mark off 400 meters or pick some, a distance that you can run in about a minute and 30 to two minutes. If you can't run, step ups. Farmer's walk, suitcase walk, uh, or even a fast walk are your options. Keep that one thirty to two minute reference uh, in time, in mind when you do it. Um, cool. Then fifty hand release push ups. Feel free to kip or strict these depending on which one you can do. Make sure, make sure whichever one you pick, you're doing full range, right? Don't do half push ups, please. Chest to deck, fully lock out at the top of each rep. You should be doing fifty to one hundred every day, so you should be pretty solid at these. This fifty won't be hard. Forty dumbbell deadlifts. If you got dumbbells. Pretty obvious, do dumbbell deadlifts. If you don't, barbell, right? These should be a pretty light deadlifts too, not super heavy, maybe two sets max, okay? Um, yeah, if, you, if you've got that, you, if you've got a barbell, you can do that. Kettlebell would just be a simply a sumo deadlift, so the kettlebell deadlifts inside. Um, with the other option would be to do uh, 20 deadlifts on each side with a kettlebell as a suitcase style. Um, either of those work, depending on what your kettlebell strength or kettlebell weight is and uh, how you feel. Uh, if you do do the kettlebell, your kettlebell is pretty light, you decide to just do sumo, you may want to increase the reps to 60 just to make it a little more challenging, but pick that rep number before you start, as with everything you change, and then go for it. Um, now, 30 swings, easiest with the kettlebell, obviously, so those of you guys who have been struggling just having a kettlebell, eh, here you go. Um, if you don't, no big deal. Uh, you can do swings, and remember with the dumbbell swings, and remember, with dumbbell swings, they work better with one arm. So you may want to do 15 on one side, 15 on the other. Uh, no dumbbell, no kettlebell. We're simply going to do hang power snatch or hang power clean and jerk, right? Same kind of idea. The hang power snatch is very similar. Um, hang clean and jerk is a little bit different. Keep that weight light. You'll be fine. It just depends on what you're going to have to do as far as deadlifting and all that, right? Um, but if you just do the quick deadlifts and pop the weight off, you'll be fine. Remembering, though, after the swings... You've got to go back and do, well, it says dumbbell hang squat clean, right? So if you've got dumbbells, that's great. Use those. If you have barbells, hang squat clean is the same way. You may have to adjust the weight if you only have a barbell in between these movements because it's very unlikely you're going to want to hang power snatch the same thing you're going to hang squat clean. Um, but maybe you do, right? Uh, if you have a kettlebell, it's kettlebell swing to goblet squat. Uh, we've done those recently. There should be a video post. Or I'll post a video up today even um, for it. But that's a very good option if all you have is a kettlebell. And feel free, right, if you've got a barbell and a kettlebell but not dumbbells, to do some of these movements, like the swings and the, dumb and the kettlebell swing to goblet squat might be better done with that to leave your barbell for some of the other stuff. Up to you. Uh, the last one is dumbbell push press. Obviously, we can do that with a barbell um, without a problem. Uh, if you only have a kettlebell, you've got the option of doing one arm push press. Those can get heavy sometimes and two arms just not really a thing. Uh, if you can do handstand push ups, great. You can do those or regular push ups again if that kettlebell is too heavy. But your first two options would be the dumbbell and the barbell push press, right? So this one has a little bit more uh, complexity to it, but not super not hard to figure out. Again, we ideally want this to be about a 40 minute workout. So we call it a 40 minute cap, but with nobody else there waiting on you, it's okay to go over if you feel like you need to, but you want to pick, if you need to adjust rep schemes or, or weights or whatever you can adjust to be in that 40 minute time frame, um, go ahead and do it. All right. Uh, good luck. Questions? Let me know.